As we continue to focus on wellness at the start of the new year, understanding relationships is a critical part of your journey. Life and mental health coach Cheryl Bridges says it's also important to know when those relationships are no longer healthy for you. Now, according to the American Heart Association, women who reported having high levels of social strain were more likely to have a heart attack or die of cardiovascular disease. Another study published by the Journal of Epidemiology and Community Health found women who had high stress experienced lower bone density years later. Bridges says unhealthy relationships substantially impact longevity. So when you talk about healthy relationships, there are four things that I really want to highlight that we should really take a look at. And I use that saying the word crew. We need to reevaluate sometimes who is in our crew. Now, crew could be two people, crew could be 20 people. But the first thing is you have to consider whether there is compassion in these relationships. Is there compassion? Is there concern? Are we really being concerned about what's happening with each other? Secondly, is there reciprocity? Um, there needs to be a balanced effort in our relationships. It shouldn't be one-sided. It doesn't have to be tit for tat and one on one, but we should be reciprocal in what we're doing for each other. And then also, is this relationship easy? And when I say easy, it doesn't mean that we're not going to have challenges. There are times that we're going to disagree or there's going to be dissension, but it shouldn't be 24 seven issues, problems all the time. So how easy is it? And then fourth and finally, well-being. Are we concerned for each other's well-being? And Bridges says if you have to reevaluate who is in your crew, you may have to establish and assert boundaries. That's a Wellness Wednesday topic that we've talked about before, and we have that on our website, dcnewsnow.com.